There's all coffee stuff for it. Anyways, they must have introduced me to it. Just fun to find things that you're like thinking about buying brand new, and then you go there and you find one that looks like brand new. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. I am in the parking lot of the thrift store. I dropped my husband's truck off to get the crack in his windshield fixed, and the thrift store is like a block down the street. And it's not the greatest neighborhood, so I'm not gonna stay out here long so I can get inside and shop. I wasn't planning on thrifting today, but it's so close, and I'm kinda looking for some silicone molds so that I can make those little egg bites. We have, or had, I would say, lots of eggs, and I've been kind of on the hunt for one. A couple nights ago, my husband forgot to shut the chicken coop door, and we think some stray dogs got in there and killed all 16 of our chickens and they were such good layers. We were getting at like about seven eggs a day at least. And so that's so sad. So we're having to start over with a new flock, but I know we're gonna have more eggs soon. It's kind of loud out here, so I hope you guys can hear me. Anyways, I feel silly out here videoing myself, so let's get in this thrift store and see what they have today on a Friday mid-morning.
of the thrift store alive, to be honest. I came yesterday and they were working on my husband's vehicle and I told you I walked just a block away. And they got done so fast. The last time I had my truck worked on, it took them almost an hour. <laughs> and this time they did it and it felt like 20 minutes. So I had to leave the store, which is fine. But the next morning, my son and my husband and my mother-in-law are taking a flight. So I had to get up early, take them to the airport. And so I thought I'm going to stop back by because I saw a few things that I wish I would have grabbed. But first I'm going to go get my kids donuts. So they're going to wake up to donuts this morning. And then I'm going to show you my haul. All right. See you in a minute. get a dozen <laughs> but I have two less people at home and I'm on a sugar fast <laughs> so but if you guys are ever passing through you have to get Roland's donuts because I'm not kidding they're like the best donuts I've ever had <laughs> and we have people from out of state that have tried them and they agree so if you're passing through stop at Roland's Donuts <laughs> at home and I was about to throw my cup away but while we're on the subject of where you should stop if you're passing through if you're ever in Fresno Madera Clovis area you can look these guys up it's called Cup of Joy they have the best coffee and it's so sweet because they have like Christian music playing in there and scriptures and stuff on the wall and all of their drinks are named like hallelujah praise I don't know if it's praise the Lord but they're like scriptural messages so it's really cool it's a really cool little local coffee shop that has several locations and a couple little drive through ones this is not sponsored <laughs> It's just so random, but if you are in this area, seriously support this little coffee shop. I love the message they're spreading. Okay, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm home. I've never done this before, but I don't want to haul it all in and then wait to do a um, haul. So I'm going to show you right now before I haul it out of my truck. <laughs> okay, that's different. Here we go. Random stuff, but this is just a lid for my pot. My mom and I have the same pots and pans and she bought them for me before I got married because she knew they were such good pans. She's still using hers so they're really great. She switched all her lids. They were stainless steel and you couldn't see through them so she switched all her lids to glass and I was like that's brilliant mother. So I decided to invest in that too and it was 99 cents and then 30% off. This stuff is so boring but I bought it to sell on eBay to make a little bit of money. <laughs> Ink. A Texas Instruments calculator that that ink was 9.99 30% off this was $1.99 30% off and it has like the case and all that it's slide on and off and then this is a fancy little mouse and it was oh I think it's $4.99 and then somebody put two different prices on there anyways $4.99 and 30% off hey okay, I got some leg warmers Yep, they're back in style. <laughs> Everything comes back around again. These are nice, thick brown ones. They were $2.99, 30% off. I thought my daughter might love these. I love these little Capri legging things that um, I have on. And ooh, these are Steve Madden. That's a good brand. So they, they're Capri length though, and I don't want to not wear them in the winter. So this makes up the difference between the Capri and my ankle. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it works for the winter. Um, so that's why I invested in All right, you guys, this is why I went back. Yes, it's this pinky copper. There's no name on it, but this matches my bread box. Well, it doesn't match now because I painted my bread box white, but it was originally this Avon pink color with copper. So I know these are vintage and I'm gonna be really honest and say I'm probably not gonna keep them but I am going to clean them up and maybe use them for storage or save them for if I get a booth. Is that weird? I don't know. Or sell them on Marketplace. I don't know. As a set. Um, because they're so cool. Like, look at them. And 
just when when do you see pink with copper you really just don't see that so this one was $3.99 all of this was 30% off they have $75 $2.99 for that one they have 75% off color tags and 50% off color tags and then the rest of it is all 30% I never find the right color that's the major sell never I, I shouldn't say never but you know like rarely <laughs> All the good stuff is gone. <laughs> Next item. This is a weather lantern TV radio. Uh, super cool, like if the power goes out. It's got a flashlight on it, a TV on it, instant weather alert. So it's like, I don't know, like a prepper's dream. It's got all the things. And it was, I think that's $20.99 or $25.99 and it was 30% off. And it's brand new. It still has like the receipt inside. I plugged it in and it works and everything. So I was happy to find this because you never know when you're going to need something like this. Okay. I have been wanting to get a regular coffee pot. I have like this old school coffee pot that my friend gave me. I didn't even buy it. And the reason she gave it to me is because back then I didn't like coffee. And <laughs> lo and behold, I have a son out of all of my kids. I would not have thought that he would be the one that likes coffee, but he likes coffee. So I, I only got that coffee pot out whenever I would have parties for my friends. And that's why she gave it to me because she's one of the friends that wants coffee when she comes to my house for a party or whatever, you know, and so she wanted me to have a coffee pot. So I got this coffee pot out and I've been using it, but it's like the old school with plastic. It has the glass carafe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Carafe, it's weird. Why is all coffee stuff French? Anyways, they must have introduced it to us. I wanted to get a nicer one that's like stainless steel, it's healthier than the plastic. So I know Breville is a really good brand and <laughs> I just happened to find one hang on you guys look at the lord just supplying all the wants he supplies all of our needs and then sometimes the wants it has a grinder on the top and it still has beans in it like somebody donated it with beans in it <laughs> look at the price 12.99 and it was 30 percent off now it is missing the care of is that how you say it but I can order one. I mean, this is like probably a three or $400 coffee pot, if not more, because this brand is just really great. And so I plugged it in and it comes on. It says it needs to be descaled. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to do some really heavy duty cleaning on it. And I'm gonna have to order a pot. But for, okay, whatever 30% off is $12.99 is, I, I'm not great at math and I don't feel like figuring it out, but. <laughs> I don't think I can go wrong. Like I could sell this right now and get more, make more money than what I paid for it. So this is a terrible angle. I'm really sorry, but you guys work with me here. Anyways, I was so happy to find this and I'm just believing that it's going to work. <laughs> this was my next item. So this was $14.99 and then it was 30% off, but isn't it the cutest little stand? It's not all the way open. It's always nice to have one of these for parties and stuff. Like we do a lot of church stuff and even a yard sale. You can put your sign on here. I thought I couldn't go wrong with this and it's such a cute stand. It's also adjustable height. So all I can, I can buy new like rubber feet for it. It's in really good shape and I don't even know, like this is a dry erase board, which is cool. You guys, please excuse my yard. It is winter and we cannot keep things clean out here. It's just a wreck. So anyways, this was one of my other finds that I was really happy to find. Whenever you stop at the thrift, or for me anyway, whenever I stop at the thrift store and I don't have much time, I find a lot of things. And I'm like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> That's really what happened to me. This was like my second time to go. So I have more stuff that I bought yesterday. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes that I wore yesterday. Hashtag less laundry. <laughs> I'm gonna take you inside for that because I already hauled that stuff in the house. So I'll be back. I, I made it back inside so that I can show you the rest of this haul. Now these 
finds were yesterday's finds. And I'm just going to put this all in one video because I would have probably found today's finds yesterday <laughs> if I would have had more time to shop. So, uh, I don't, I, my hair is going a little crazy. I've been up so early this morning that I had a chance to stop and grab coffee and then go shop my favorite local thrift store. So this is a few things that I grabbed. So here we go. Another Texas Instruments calculator. I may end up keeping this one. It was 99 cents, 30% off. If not, I can sell it on eBay. I'm kind of getting into this eBay thing just because it's a really nice way to make some quick extra cash. I get suckered into those little like what to sell on eBay videos for secondhand shoppers. And I'm like, I want the easy stuff. I want the super simple stuff that I can mail and I know I can make a quick turnaround in. Like I couldn't sell this locally, but to take a minute to just go stick it in my mailbox, I'm all Okay, I don't know if this is a really good brand or not. I looked it up on eBay and the prices were kind of all over the place, but it's an insulated coffee cup. I love the copper on the bottom. So, I mean, I bought this to for us to use. They had a pink one with the copper again, it was cute, or this white one. And I thought the white would be a little more versatile. So, you know, a boy or a girl could use it. And I just want to kind of research it a little bit and make sure that the, this is safe to drink hot liquids out of. They say it's stainless steel, the little bit that I looked it up in the store, but I just want to be sure because I don't really want to be drinking out of plastic or anything that's like toxic. I try to stay away from that as much as I can. I know you can't avoid it completely, but I do try to really think about that. So this was $3.99 and then it was okay, 30 And I told you guys about our chicken ordeal. That's so, so sad that all of those, all of our chickens, we had such a great flock. I had just sold five dozen eggs the day before this happened. And we thought coyotes or maybe an owl, but what it come down to is I think there was some stray dogs around here because my neighbor called me like the next morning and she saw two stray dogs that were trying to kill her cats. And then my dad saw a stray dog the night after the chickens were all killed. So we have a problem out here in the country. People drop them off. It's really sad because if you take them to the shelter, they want all the, you can't just drop off your animal at the shelter. So people are just like done taking care of them and they drop them off. And I know it's terrible, but in my opinion, they're better off dead than to be dropped somewhere to starve or, you know, fend for themselves with no care, just no shelter, nothing. And it's just really a problem. So I, I mean, people need to get their dogs and animals fixed and all that, but it's a real problem out here because we are out in the country. A lot of people drop off stray animals and then we get stuck like they killed all our chickens. So. That was a total bummer but okay enough this the reason i brought chickens up is because when we do get chickens my husband already went and bought an incubator and got some eggs from the neighbors so hopefully we'll get some chickens out of that but i thought this would be the cutest little egg gathering basket now i went through a few and so it was 99 cents it was 30 percent off well it's, it has a blue oh you know what i bet it was 59 cents it looks like a five um anyways all the blue was i think 50% off so this may have been 30 cents but I went through a few egg baskets and I kick myself because my uncle years ago when we did not have chickens no thought of ever having chickens gave me the perfect metal egg basket and I got rid of it and it's one of the things that I regret getting rid of and if I ever see one like it I'm going to buy it uh, I just haven't come across one yet but this is really it's just real light and I just thought it would make a really good egg gathering basket. I have a really hard time. I feel like I talk so much and when I go to edit I'm like why do you talk so much? It's so hard to edit you all of your nonsense out. <laughs> so I'm really sorry. Okay you saw my video where I got a food saver for free or I should say for sweat equity. I worked helped my friend at her yard sale and she let me have it. So I saw these they're brand new in the box at the thrift store and they were $2.99 and I think they were half off because they have a blue uh, marking on them but if not they were 30% off which is still a great price 
So I grabbed these and I'm gonna go ahead and link that video right here if you guys wanna see it. This is terrible and my kids probably won't even want it, but I, these are the pans that I have had since I got married and my mom has had since she got married. So they are really good stainless steel pans and they're not that non-stick lining, which is like really bad for you. But um, the only thing you have to really be careful when you buy, I can clean all that off, but you have to be really careful when you buy secondhand is you need to put it on a flat surface and make sure it's not warped. They had another one that was bigger than this and I was like, oh cool, because it's kind of hard to find the big one, but it was warped. It was wobbly when I set it down. So this was $7.99 or $6.99 and then 30% off, which is a really good price. If my And I've been collecting these to make a set for my kids. Now watch, they probably won't want them. My boys' wives probably won't want them. My daughter probably won't want them. But for the price I paid for these, like I can have a yard sale and I know I'll get my money back because pans are not cheap. And this is a really good size. It is a, I can't see. I think it's a four quart. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, it's a good size this pan. This was one of my favorite finds from yesterday. I have never seen this before. It's a copper flower sifter. Okay, it is so stinking cute. It's a little bit bent and dirty, but hey, I can fix that. It was 50% off because it's it was $3.99 and it's a blue tag. So it says Foley Sift Chine Triple Screen. I don't know, this might not even be old, but I love the copper. Never seen one, like I said, so had to have that. And it was sitting right next to those Avon pink canisters with the gold rims. I'm like, oh, it all just blends so well. So I was really happy to find it. All right, this. I pushed you guys way back and I probably still won't be able to show you this whole thing, but I grabbed this quilt and it is definitely handmade and it's double-sided. So the one side has this um, design on it and the other side is like a big starburst. Okay, I'm gonna have to lay this out in video for you guys, but, oh, let me show you the price before I forget. It was $6.99 and then 30% off for a handmade quilt. That's so cheap. So, um, I'm really, really, really toying with the idea of buying these old quilts and repurposing them for something else. So, I saw this one and I love this side, especially with the flowers. It is kind of a bummer. Well, maybe you could make whatever I make out of it. Like if it's a jacket, have you seen, I've seen those jackets. They're so amazing. You can make it reversible. I don't know. I feel like I'm not a great seamstress, but I love to sew and repurpose things. That's like my favorite thing. I hate using patterns. So I think that would be so fun. Now it's dirty. I need to clean it and all that. So I'll lay this out and show you, but I thought the colors were fun and you could definitely tell that it's, homemade it's not hand stitched but it is like a grandma somebody made it <laughs> uh you know not something that was bought at the store this is my last item and the lord is so good right he's so good and he gives us everything that we need so we needed another suitcase because my suitcase my big one broke it was one of those hard shell ones and those people at the airport, they just throw them around, right? And so it broke one of the um, wheels on it. So I, I seen this and this is Perry Ellis and it's not a carry on. It's like the neck size up and it has a handle and the spinny wheels because most of the ones you find at the thrift store are old and, and don't even have wheels or they have the wheel that just rolls the one way, which is really hard at the airport. I love the ones that's like a 360 spin. And the only thing wrong with this is it's missing the screw for this top handle. So when you pick it up with stuff in it, like this, um, it slips out. But it's just like a brad with a screw. So I'm sure that I could order that. And it was clean, but suitcases are so easy to clean. Um, when it gets warmer outside, I'll take it outside and wash it down with soap and water and let it dry in the sun. But it was $16.99 and then 30% off. I literally went to Ross and they were 50, 60, 55 dollars for the exact same thing, exact same brand. So this was such an amazing deal. And I know it's not fun 
like it's not beautiful but it's so useful and it saves so much money that is why i love to thrift you save so much money on something i needed that is all that i have for you guys today it's just fun to find things that you're like thinking about buying brand new and then you go there and you find one that looks like brand new for a fraction of the price that's why i love thrifting. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Give it a thumbs up and maybe comment down below with what your favorite item was or if you saw something that I videoed in the store that you really loved. Thank you guys for being here. I gotta go. I don't know what I'll be doing on the next one. Maybe thrifting. I know you guys probably think I thrift constantly and I really don't. It's just so random but I just find some really great stuff and I want to show it to you so thanks for being here we'll see you on the next video bye